Hi, my name is Brian Sir. I'm on the TME team here at Nutanix. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the auto cluster selection. This will automatically place a virtual machine on a cluster based upon uh, different capacity and performance uh, reasonings. This is beneficial if you are an organization trying to operate your infrastructure in more of a cloud-like manner, where you'd like to have the workloads placed automatically on clusters that have the capacity for them, rather than having to manually select a cluster and do that load balancing placement decisions uh, either with a human or some made up uh, you know, automation process. Let's get into the demo. To save time, I've already logged into our Prism Central instance. And since we're gonna be showcasing automatic cluster selection, uh, ideally we need more than a single cluster. So let's take a look at our hardware and the clusters list. And we can see in this demo environment, I've got two clusters configured. Now we can head up to compute and click on the virtual machine and then we're going to create a new virtual machine. Let's just call it demo. And then historically, when you would see the cluster field, you would drop it down and you would just see a list of the clusters that were available that you could deploy uh, your virtual machine to. You can still do that. So if you'd like to declare which one you'd like the VM to land on, you can just select that and it will deploy it there. But the option for automatic cluster selection uh, now exists, and it will deploy uh, our configured virtual machine uh, based upon uh, the capacity of the clusters and the um, configuration of the virtual machine. So there are rules and capacity planning built in that best based upon choices we make in the virtual machine that may exclude a specific cluster uh, because it doesn't have uh, some feature configured on it, uh, or it will just you know deploy to the cluster that has the most uh, capacity available. So we'll select the automatic cluster selection. It's going to tell us a few things uh, that are requirements for it, uh, such as currently GPUs are not supported. Um, let's just leave it at a single virtual machine that we're deploying, and then we'll just you know give it a couple CPUs, keep the memory and uh, we can advance. Now we'll uh, attach a disk. We're just gonna clone it from an image that we have. We'll choose a CentOS image. And uh, I'm not gonna worry about uh, the networking right now, just to keep this simple. So we'll just advance through because we're not gonna give it any categories. Scroll down, we can see all the configured. And then when we click Create VM, It'll uh, just take a little bit here and we can now see our new demo VM was created and it landed on the marketing 238 cluster.